DJ Purdue Bear Review. Well, it's just me, a bomber, and some time on my hands. That's right. So that means it's time for me to do one of my favorite things, and that's to enjoy an Imperial Russian Stout, or maybe a Russian Imperial Stout if you prefer. Whatever you way you say it, it's a big ass beer of high ABV and delicious maltiness. That's right. And from whom do we have said end of the evening, I finished all my work, kicking back kind of beer today. We've got one from Stone Brewing Company out of Escondido, California, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And what do we have? We have their Imperial Russian Stout 2015 Vintage. That's right. I've been drinking this beer for years. It's one of my favorite freaking classic stouts. And you know what all is up about it, man. It clocks in at 10.6% ABV and 65 IBUs. They've been making this beer since 2000. People do big verticals of it. And it's pretty much the same every year. Sometimes the you know, ABV will vary a little bit. I think last year, this beer was like 11%, so it was like 0.4% more. But generally, they're dead on at 10.6% ABV every year, and it's one that sellers like a champ. I've been building a vertical of this. I think i got about five years at this point, somewhere around there, maybe six. I don't, I don't remember. There's too much you know, stock back here in the inventory. But anyways, this is a beer that I haven't reviewed I don't know why I just haven't got around to it. I've drank it plenty of times, but I'm, I figured, you know what, I'm going to review it this time because it's pretty fresh. It's got like four months on it now, time of recording. So, you know what, let's see what it's like fresh because, I, I, you know what, when I do this vertical, I'm going to have one super raw and fresh. So, let's do one with four months on it, right? Right? Why? Because it's here and I'm going to freaking drink it. So, let's get the top popped up on my classic here from Stone Brewing Company and see what's up with the Imperial Russian Stout. Hell yes. Boom! Gigantic hiss off the top. Nothing on the crown here, so this is really their classic put together here. That's how it started out. No gargoyle, nothing. Damn, I can smell the malt and the chocolate and like freaking fudge and stuff blasting off the top of this bad boy. Got our little snifta here. Let's get it in the glass. Ooh, hello. Mm hmm. Let's see what kind of head we can get on this bad boy. Give it a little elevation. Yeah. All right. Let's see what's up with the appearance. Not that I really have to check. It's black. There's no light coming through. Black as pitch, black as tar, black as motor oil, black as night, black as midnight, black as your freaking soul. <sighs> or, is, yeah, anyway. So, no lights coming through here. Just the same, whatever we say. It had about a one finger head. We're now down to a half finger. Super tightly packed. Dark, chocolatey looking bubbles when I swirl it. Yeah, we're going to get some glass slicing. It's a stone beer. And we got lots of nice sticky alcohol legs on the inside of this bad boy. But check that out, guys. That's just classic, velvety-looking, chocolatey beauty here in a stout. I mean, Russian Imperial Stout, you know, I love hobby beers. Man, I go geeking out over this. But my favorite go-to style when I really want to chill and kick back, it's nothing like an Imperial Stout. So, you know what? I'm going to stop flapping my gums. Let's get the aroma on this. Wow. Big chocolate right up in your face. Coffee. Caramel, a bit of toffee, <clears throat> a little bit of dark fruits, fruits, big roasty driven aromas, some earthy hop notes in there, and like at the end, as, as I'm, it's opening up and I smell it, you're getting like some burnt, like brown sugar notes. Wow, <clears throat> lots of nice notes in this, like just classically smelling stout. I'm ready to dive in. I've been wanting to have a beer like this for a couple few days. Had a really long kicking my ass work week. I've earned this shit. Time to dive in, guys. Cheers! Mmm. Damn. Wow. Super smooth. Right up at the front. You get a, get a blast of coffee. After that, you get chocolate, toffee, caramel, and then you got that earthy hop bite in the back of it. The alcohol is hidden in the taste, but it's present in a good amount of warmth in the chest. You can taste a very, very, very faint bit of alcohol in the taste, but I suspect once the cellar's out, that'll be totally gone. You can taste it. There's a little bit of dark fruits in the background, but sort of fresh like this is with about four months on it. You can still taste that earthy hop. It tastes like East Kent Golding or maybe Fuggle to me. They don't disclose the hops in this, but wow easy to drink. I mean, it's a big beer. The warming in your chest kind of tells you it's a big beer, but it's got 
for a, a traditional sort of Russian imperial stout or imperial Russian stout. You know, remember they call it IRS because they used to like you know release this or, and they still do pretty much release it around like tax day. You know, as an homage to the federal government who be taking plenty of money from Stone because they're earning a lot. Hmm. Anyways, but wow. And then back in, it's got a mixture between that like Fuggles and East Kent Golding hops. You know, sort of earthiness that you get from those kind of hops. I don't know that that's in there, like I said, but that's what it's throwing to me. And like some like, you know, dark roast coffee bitterness. But up in the front, there's that sweetness. Just a chocolate. Um toffee and caramel and that's it opening up i get a little bit of like hit of that booze in there too to let you know hey i'm a big beer it's not a bad thing but it's it's there i think this is a beer that's designed to be cellared and you can enjoy it fresh i'm really digging it but i think it's a beer that's designed to cellar and age really well and that rocks too but wow it's this is just a a, a fucking classic guys so how do we grade a beer like this now you can see I'm digging it, but I'm a freaking stataholic as it is. So, or malt maniac, whatever the hell you want to call it. But, Rape Beer gives it, boom, 100. Yes, that's right. A++ plus 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 is the best you can go. Mm, I don't know about that. Beer Advocate gives it a 97. Almost an A+. Plus. Stellar, great, super tasty. I'm digging it. But high as you can get A level, at least on my scale, which A+, plus starts at 98. I'm going to give this beer, as it sits right now, I'm going to give it a high A. I'm going to give it a 95. Really tasty beer, super easy to drink. I would drink this again. I'd buy it again. I buy it every freaking year. It's cheap as hell for what it is. I paid like $7.99 for this bottle. You know, like, like I said, it's the kind of beer that you build verticals on, you know, like this Brooklyn's Black Chocolate Stout, Sierra Nevada's Narwhal, beers like that of that classic st stout, you know, kind of ilk, maybe like uh, Victory Storm King, you know, beers like that. That, that, that can stand the test of time and sell. This is definitely one of those guys. It's got enough hop into it to you know make it travel that test of time. And I can't wait to dig into the vertical one day. But I'm going to have to bring the stunt trigger for that because they sell this in bombers. And I got five years, I think, in the tube now. Mm, I ain't doing that one by myself. So, have you had this beer? Let me know what you think because I like the quid pro quo or the back and forth, whichever you prefer because I don't know everything and I like to hear your opinion too. If you love it, hate it, whatever, let me know what you think. Am I totally wrong? Tell me that because that's what keeps this thing cool and alive. People sharing opinions, sharing a beer, and talking about it, right? It's also really cool and keeps this thing growing when you think globally, drink globally, and support the craft beer movement because that also promotes diversity and more beers like this from other brewers who take a different take on it that we're going to dig to and want to do a free convertible of with 10 5 10 whatever years you guys can collect and resist from drinking that shit so to the next dj's brew tube thanks i mean to each and every one of you for watching please remember to rate comment subscribe especially if this is your first time with us we got lots more material coming because i like drinking so oh yeah i also like it when you take the time to reach out touch someone and smash that like button because smashing that like button means you put your happy face on today too so to the next dj brew tube i got nothing but a bunch of imperial russian stout 2015 from stone vintage drinking love for you and damn you know what's coming now that's right y'all been here long enough